Evolution XOS custom room is here. The version is 8.1 based on Android 14 having the December security patch. Things which are included in this version, the new things, the changes, everything we will talk about in this video. It's based on QPR1 update, the Google's latest QPR1 stable version. So that is why some features are removed, but some things are good. We will talk about all of those things in this video. Stay tuned. This is having the December security patch. The November security patch was not based on QPR1. That is why it was having all the customizations, etc. If you don't want to compromise with one of the features, which I will let you know in this video, you can check out the previous version and you can use that. That could be a good useful thing for you. Moving on to some of the things here. As this is based on QPR1, we have the battery information option available in the about phone section. It was not available previously as far as I know. You have the battery information options available there where basically you can see the battery health, battery cycle count, etc. It's officially available in the Pixel devices with the latest Android 14 update and so as in this Evolution XOS custom room because it is having all the Pixel features for you. One more thing is if I move on to the home settings, you will notice this is not having the Evolution X launcher anymore. It is having the Pixel launcher. Previously, it was having Evolution X launcher. Right now, according to the developer, you will get the Pixel launcher in most of the devices. Evolution X launcher might be back in the few days, but for now, it's having Pixel launcher. So if you are looking forward to install this thing, you have to compromise with that launcher, which is Evolution X OS. Another thing is, you will see this new troubleshoot options available. It was also available with the Android 14's QPR update. If you did not watch out my video on QPR update, you can go and check it out. But for now, this is what we have. Troubleshoot options are available even in the custom rooms, which is Evolution X OS is one of them. A lot of custom rooms are also coming based on this update, which is having December security patch. But Evolution X OS is the first one which I tried. So that is why we are here to talk about. It also brings you the new charging controls. This is quite amazing. You can choose a charging mode according to your own preference. You can choose a start time. You will you can set the target time to full charge. It's totally up to you. Or you can simply choose the limit charging option. As far as I know, the limit charging option was there previously, but the custom charging options were not available and it's included with this new update, which could be a very good option if you use this thing. I don't use this thing much, but if you use it, then it could be a useful thing for you. Including that troubleshoot option available in network and internet section, you also have the battery diagnostic option available, which seems to be a good option. I don't use this thing. This is just a quick guide for you. For example, if your device battery is draining too quickly, you have some options how you can you can see, you can confirm how these things are going on. Phone is very warm, issue with charging, etc. These are the things basically help guide for you. Including that because it's based on QPR1 update, so we have the new lock screen clock available. You can simply hold and click on customize lock screen. In case if it is not opening there, simply click on wallpapers and style, move on to lock screen customizations. You will notice a new clock. Sometimes the wallpaper doesn't work, but uh, that's fine. It, it takes some seconds, maybe one or two minutes, but after that it should start working. Okay, as you can see, it's now working. So it took around 10 to 15 seconds to show of these wallpapers. But this is a clock which I was talking about new clock options available. This is not the new one, by the way, but Metropolitan, I guess this is the name. Let me talk about that clock. This is the one Metropolitan, I guess this is the clock name and uh, you can customize the size and you can customize the color, etc, etc. Same kind of things as it is not having the pixel. It is not having the Evolution X launcher. So upgrades are same. It's a stock pixel launcher no extra upgrade options unlocked unfortunately a lot of new things will be included in the upcoming update but for now this is what we have we also have the sub status bar lyric option available um, to be very honest i have never used this feature i am just not aware of this feature how this feature works but it's included here i will definitely check it out i will definitely look into it the feature how this works etc etc but this feature is included with this new update. It was not available in version 8.0. As far as I know, this is status bar lyric available in the Evolution X OS options in status bar options. Even in the notification section, you will find Island notification, which is basically a renamed version of Reticker. Also, basically, it works like that and it even works with the music player. Uh, in my case, how it was working, let me show you because I just took some screenshots after playing some music. Maybe in your case, things could be a bit different. As you can see now playing at the status bar, this is how the animation, not the exact the animation, but this is how the things will go on. 
it will be like this one even in the home screen and same like that this could be same even in your app i mean the music player which are which you are using for example in my case i was using spotify it is working fine here it should work with the youtube music app too i'm not exactly sure if the local music players will support that this could be improved in the upcoming updates but this is about island notification which could be considered as a dynamic island for android for custom rooms so these are things available here if you want to know more about some of the features or customizations basically same here for example in the miscellaneous options the spoofing options application downgrade options same kind of options which you need in a custom room already present here you will find the unlimited photo storage option which could be a very useful thing if you move on to the animation section charging animation is there which is option which is optional you can disable it if you don't want to use it or screen of animation is also present here including this one if i move on to the buttons lock screen same kind of options available everywhere in the button section you have the option for per app volume control lock screen is having the lock screen charging info gestures kind of same double tap to sleep power menu customizations etc etc so these are things available here you can simply explore say things are basically same like the previous updates the major things which will change with this version i've already shown you these were things i just wanted to let you know if you want to install this thing links are available in the description thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one goodbye